One of my concerns is the traffic lights. You have mentioned a while ago that one group of fatalities is the party seniors. You know what? Those flashing numbers on the lights, on these traffic lights, seem to be a problem. Because, like for example, either Richmond or Adelaide, which one, whichever one is going east, there's about 20. And I have observed, because I live in Mississauga, I travel Charles all the time, every day, twice a day. If there is a senior or two or three seniors crossing the street, that number 20 is not enough. And it is so darn uh, pressing. It, it, uh, sometimes I get a heart attack when I see a senior, and there's only nine numbers on those blinking. You know, and I know the police station is directly, or the TPS is directly involved with those traffic signals and traffic lights. Well, I think it, I, I don't know, personally, it was better when there was, when there was no numbers. So is there anything that could be done between not having them and having them? Because uh, last year, the number of fatalities was just horrendous. There's more in 212. And I think any other year. The numbers up this year, too. Let me just correct something there, if I may. Um, I take responsibility for many things, but I am not responsible for those lights. Floyd. <laughs> 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 you know what? It's a friend of mine, so I'm afraid to, 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 to give up his name, but his name is Stephen Buckley, and he's, <laughs> he's, he's the head of transportation for the city of Toronto. Um, when they introduced those countdown lights, the intent and the reports indicated that that would actually make those intersections safer. But I think one of the problems, actually there's a number of problems with them, and it's because people don't understand what those lights mean. When the, intersect, when the light first turns, there is a signal to walk. And you are only supposed to walk when that signal is on. You're not supposed to set out, if it goes to 20 seconds, the walk, the walk light is off. The pedestrian is not supposed to go, but they go. Sometimes they go when it gets down to three. <laughs> but, but as soon as that walkway, the, 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 the hand it shows the green, as soon as that light goes out and the, and the countdown begins, the pedestrian is not supposed to go. But that's very badly understood by our citizens. And, those, and, those, and, and then there's another problem, because what we're finding is drivers aren't looking at the traffic signal, the red or the amber or the green light. They're looking at that countdown. And if they see the numbers getting down low, they accelerate to get through the intersection. And so there are some problems associated to this. But our job, our job, police job, is to enforce the law. But it, it is impossible, quite frankly, for us to be at every intersection to do that. And that's one of the reasons I advocate for the use of technology, because I think that it's more efficient. But there is an issue, and, and if there are issues with the light, I know Mr. Buckley's a very, very competent fellow, and he's looking at those things and trying to make them safer. We're also looking at trying to synchronize the lights a little bit in the city so that people can move more efficiently in the flow of traffic. But there's a public education piece. The public needs to keep itself safe. And, you know, I often will say, to various community groups and or pedestrians. And people will say, but I was in the right. And being in the right is not going to have help if you're struck by a car. And so what you need to do is make sure you're safe. It's not good enough to be in the right. You have to be safe. And so before you go out into that intersection, you have to look to make sure that it's safe to do so. And you have to be confident that you'll be able to cross that street safely. And you cannot rely that the, the person in the car is going to do the right thing. I say the same things to the drivers, by the way. You cannot rely that the pedestrian was all, would always do the right thing. And so what we must do is look out for each other. We must return a little courtesy to how we use the roads. Courtesy on how we drive. You mentioned bicycles. Courtesy on how people operate their, their bicycles. Because I see so many people disregarding stop signs and red lights and putting pedestrians at risk by going up on sidewalks. Drivers must be courteous. Bicycle riders must be courteous. And pedestrians must be courteous. But it is, if there's a collision between a pedestrian and either a bike or a car, it's always the pedestrian that will lose. So the pedestrians must not only be courteous, but they must be smart. And they must do what they have to do to keep themselves safe.
Yes, ma'am.